Hi, I am Ayan Chakravarti. I studied nonlinear dynamics in my post graduation course. Back then, I came across Professor Stephen Stogarch, who is a professor at Cornell University, via YouTube and his amazing books on nonlinear dynamics. He is also a pioneer in applied math of synchronization. In this video, I will present to you some amazing clips of synchronization that are pervasive in nature and games of their application. I always wanted to present a science video. Thank you for the opportunity. In this clip, I will show you how non-living things like metronome clicks in a synchronized manner. There are five clock-like structures that are called metronomes. The person started all the metronomes in the table. They individually click, but nothing interesting happens. Now he placed the system in a moving platform. Now watch and hear the beautiful synchrony of the non-living objects. Let's have some more fun. Crank the number of the metronome up to 32. Let's move from non-living things to living things. Fireflies are beetles. They flash like light bulbs. There are some species of fireflies in Great Smoky Mountain National Park of USA which flash light synchronously. You can see their spectacular firework display. Flying up to 40 miles per hour, an entire flock of birds can make spectacular patterns in the sky. These depends on only three simple rules. They follow their in nearest one. They keep three to four body space in between. They have tendency to line up with one another. Based on these three simple rules, you see these spectacular patterns in the sky. From the blue sky to the deep blue sea, patterns are everywhere. Fish swarm make similar patterns as birds. They also follow those three simple principles to make beautiful patterns. Here you can see the fish swarm making beautiful patterns. A small bundle of specialized cell in SA node helps our heart to beat rhythmically. Here is a microscopic view of the heart cell. Now we can see a large number of such heart cell into action producing a synchronized motion of life. Synchronization can be bad too. Millennium Bridge in London is a great example of that. Once opened, hundreds of people started walking on the bridge. As there was some problem in the design of the bridge, this walking sets the bridge into a little sideways motion. This again sets the walking of the people into a particular motion producing a loop effect. Bridge was closed for safety. Good or bad, synchronization is an interesting phenomenon of nature. Math regarding this effect is helpful in computer science. This is a budding field of research and there is more to come in next 25 years.